Hello everybody, I'm Ezio, or Entreri, depending on where you've met me, bringing you my first recorded bot game from Web Diplomacy. Let's get into it. Alright, nice, fun Austria game. I'm not a fan of Austria against the bots at all. Personally, I find that they are usually very aggressive against me. They like to kill me a lot. And I usually do poorly. Um, I find that I have to open standard, and even then, things tend to go badly. Although, this seems like a really nice start for me. This move to Armenia is great. Move to Piedmont is great. And... England, yeah. Standard stuff. Rish is getting his build from the north, which is not fun, because he's he might not be getting Romania. Hopefully he doesn't. Um, I'm still looking to just get my two builds, but I'm definitely going to move back to Galicia. I think there's a reasonable chance I get in, and this is a game that I'm going to work with Tur with Italy. They're going to go for their Lepanto, and I am going to make as much progress as possible. Cool moves from England there. I actually really like that move. Um, with the move in Burgundy, it looks like it's um, relatively safe. Expect Fleet Smyrna to be built. Maybe I don't go after Russia this game. Russia got bounced out of Romania. Fleet Khan. Neat. So Italy is guaranteed to end up in Eastern Med. So I feel like I'm going to be able to just hold the pressure down here. Like, gonna go after Bulgaria. Don't expect to get in there. Um, should I support Russia into Romania? I don't really want to. But. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to go for this direct attack into Bulgaria because Khan is super likely to support holding it. Hmm. The alternative is Greece to Aegean, and then I try to get three on Bulgaria, which I kind of like, actually. I think that's a little riskier, but it's got upside. There's the chance that Italy goes after Aegean, which would make this terrible, which is partially why I normally don't like this move. But in this case, I think it's warranted. And then I'm going to keep bouncing with Russia out of Galicia. I don't think I particularly want him to go there. Germany is going to keep doing German things. Got their two builds, didn't lose Munich. England's in Denmark, which is not actually a bad thing here. Because he left the North Sea to do it. Yeah, let's just stay the course. Good luck, France. Alright, so I got super punished for that move. Super, super punished. He just left Bulgaria vacant. Um, feels bad. Uh, rough miss, guess. Well, that's gonna hurt. Um, good news is Romania's gone. Bad news, he can attack back into Bulgaria with support, and I don't get there. And he can even use the Black Sea for that while Constantinople keeps pinging. But that seems maybe less likely. Uh, yeah, that's just a, not a guess I can really afford to be losing. Uh, well, sometimes you miss guess. Here I'm going to have, you know, just support hold Budapest. There's no way that they're actually working together. But maybe... The AI gets the idea that I want, that I don't necessarily want to kill Russia right now, and I just want to get into Bulgaria. I'm hoping I can, like, I think it's so likely that they cover a gene again. So what can Turkey do here, right? Armenia can go to Smyrna or Syria, and my bet is it does one of the two. Do we think he does Armenia to Syria, Khan to Smyrna, Rome to Bull with support from Black Sea? Because if he does that move, then I can get into Aegean. Italy stopped no matter what, 
and then I can get their next turn. All right, we're gonna do that. Like. We made these moves last turn and they went terribly. If we're going to make them again and assume it's not going to go as terribly. Well, it. This one didn't go terribly, but it still went badly. I don't know what. I guess. I guess that's a reasonable move there from Turkey. To say if I don't support the attack, it works out. Because he can cut Sev. The attack could have come from Sev, but. This was not the best year of my life. However, it's going to be fine, because I'm super likely to get into Bulgaria this turn, unlike last turn. Do I want to take Bulgaria from Greece or from Serbia? I think I want to take it from Greece. No, Greece moves to Bulgaria. Serbia supports move to Bulgaria from Greece. And then... Hmm. What should Vienna be doing right now? I'm okay with Vienna just holding, to be honest. I wanted to find some action, but... The action I could get would be attacking Germany, which I don't particularly like as Austria until you've killed one of your neighbors. It could be moving into Tyrolia to piss off Italy, but I'm also okay with Italy leaving his army in Piedmont forever. And then I could just move it into Galicia to piss off the Russian after I helped out the Russian, but I don't think that's the best move either. So I think I'm just going to have it hold, and Budapest is going to fire off a support hold on Romania. Cool. It looks like me supporting Russia into Romania, pay dividends with Warsaw to Silesia instead of to Galicia. Looks like Russia wants to be friends. We disbanded Bulgaria. Smyrna's getting popped. Yep. Cool. So this looks like a very nice Lepanto success story, despite my horrible, horrible mistakes there earlier on. So we can just go for some aggressive plays. Support move to Khan. Not from the Black Sea, from Bulgaria. Budapest. I want Budapest to move to Serbia, and Serbia to move to Bulgaria. I think Vienna to Bohemia is a move that's potentially useful here. It makes it look like I'm interested in attacking Germany. From this point, my plans are... Th I'm thinking I want to go to war with Russia relatively soon. It's just frustrating because he's got so many armies, but I feel like those armies are going to find their way to my borders if I don't go after him. These moves are just hoping that Russia taps Black Sea, uh, which seems totally plausible, but not guaranteed. Yeah, he did not. Cool, I ended up in Bohemia. Did not take Khan... Italy's getting his fleet out of Ionian, which is exactly where I want it. This is perfect. In the north... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Russia moving out of Moscow. Fantastic. Yeah, this is just going pretty swimmingly, I'd say. Up to six as Austria, with currently none of my neighbors too interested in attacking me. Sometimes you get lucky, I guess. Right, Turkey opened to Armenia, Italy opened Lepanto, Russia did standard things and was forced into it because of the Armenia move. Germany didn't move into Tyrolia. I've had games where Germany goes into Tyrolia and just kills me, you know, too. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what my game plan is here. I'm not sure what my, what my high level thing is. I don't want to attack Italy right now that much. Maybe that's wrong, to be honest. Right, if I built in Trieste, I can move into Venice and Tyrolia and take Venice this year. Um, I think I want to, like, I'm content to just sit around and do nothing until Turkey is finished. Because I've, it seems like Russia might be weakening its border with me. 
Um, let's see. I could make my move against Russia right now. Move Vienna into Galicia. But I still think I want to wait until I've taken Khan and Ankh. Maybe I should take Khan with my fleet so I can be bouncing in the Black Sea. Potentially even capture it if Russia is flat-footed. If I take from the if I take Khan from Aegean, that's me saying I'm not interested in attacking Italy. I am interested in attacking Russia via the Black Sea. It's the strategic decision. Whereas if I take from Khan, I can have two on Smyrna as soon as Eastern Med vacates, which is potentially useful. What am I more interested in? I'm definitely more interested in attacking Russia, so I should attack Khan with my fleet. Spart moves to Khan from Aegean. Aegean, I want you to move to Khan. And now, Budapest, what are you doing? Again, I think nothing this turn. I think we're just keeping three on Romania. Maybe I, like, move to Trieste or something to, like, do a wiggle. I don't know. I think Vienna also to Trieste. Like, it's going to be obnoxious, right? These, these lame sequences that I do. But I want Germany to stay strong. That much I know. I want Turkey to be dead, and as soon as these Turkish fleets are gone, I can just go after Russia. Russia's not going to be getting anything from Germany. Russia's not getting anything from from England. Like, I don't know. This feels, this feels like a waiting game is just ideal for me. So, let's be absurdly patient, right? Just say all of my units are exactly where I want them to be. As much as I can be without risking aggression from somebody. So, like... Let's just stick to the plan. Oh, that's annoying. Italy neither cut Ankara nor... Um, nor supported me in. So I assume Smyrna just held, unless Smyrna supported from Bulgaria. Orders Italy, Smyrna held. Yeah, that's not ideal. Hmm. 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 I was kind of expecting Smyrna to help me. But it didn't, so... I guess I should just go to war with Russia now. Feels rough to make that move into the spring. Or to make that move in the spring, I should say. No, feels rough to make that move in the fall rather than the spring. Italy gaining from France is something I'm content with. England pressuring Russia is also something I'm content with. Germany falling is something I'm not really. Yeah, I mean I can just tax I can just tax Russia. We'll make this a war. Um I mean does it matter? Yeah, maybe the Italian decides to go after Smyrna this turn. With these moves, he's going to be retreating into Warsaw. I'm going to have two on Warsaw and four on Romania. And he's going to have three able to defend Romania. So... This is just the way to go. Yeah, frustrating when Italy does this, right? Gets into Smyrna, but then doesn't want to go anywhere. That's okay. Here we are. We're gonna be crushing the Russian. I could have made a move like this last turn, but I didn't because I was hoping to make it uh, a, a faster war. 
but that was almost certainly a rather large mistake. Maybe this is why I'm bad as Austria. It's Ukraine, Aegean, support Bulgaria, Cilicia, move to Warsaw. Kind of want to move Cilicia into Prussia, to be honest. Like, sorry, I missed something. Where to? Oh, Belgium. Yeah, this EF is terrifying. Italy's already in Western and Gulf, though, which is very good news for us, for me. Um, I wish he would be attacking Turkey. But he doesn't seem too interested in that. So this gets me Romania. Unless Turkey attacks Bulgaria, which is not particularly likely. It's just from Romania, I'm going to have to... Uh, no, I, I'm from Romania, I can get on Warsaw. That's the plan. Okay, we'll, we'll figure this out. Oh, cool. And he even, he just did no defense at all. Now I'm guaranteed Warsaw and the war against Russia. Because we'd have Romania move to Ukraine. We have Galicia move to Warsaw. We have Silesia support, support move to Warsaw from Galicia. Um, the GNC support move to Khan. Nope. To Khan from Smyrna. We have Bulgaria. Support move to Romania from Budapest. Budapest move to Romania. So here I'm guaranteed Khan. If he attacks Romania with strength 3, he gets it. Um, but I think... Do we think that's more likely? Or do we think it's more likely he tries to support Hold Warsaw? If I think he's going after Romania, I could hedge, and I could say I have Galicia. Yeah, I like the hedge. I'm going to have Galicia support move to Warsaw from Silesia. So this is meaning I'm not guaranteed to take Warsaw anymore. He can have Ukraine tap Galicia now, and I don't take Warsaw. But if he's taking Galicia, if he's stopping me from taking Warsaw in this way, he's not capturing Romania because I'm attacking it with strength 2. He can only take it with 2, so he'd get bounced out of Romania. And this way, if he retakes Romania, I take Warsaw from Silesia, which is a much better strategical position. Although, yeah, because then I would be able, I can retreat from Romania into Serbia. Um, so, whereas the other way, I would be taking Warsaw from Galicia, and I would probably be retreating Romania into Galicia. And so I'm making the argument that I would rather have a unit in Serbia than Silesia, if he retakes Romania. Is that an argument that's sound? It might be an argument that's unfounded. This has the added downside of if he does something crazy like Ukraine to Galicia, and then he... Uh, yeah, you, basically exactly Ukraine to Galicia. I, I would still only get bounced out of Romania, right? But then I'm in Warsaw, and then he, or Ukraine, and then he's just toast. Hmm. Interesting decision here. This is the move I'm... I, I want to make these moves really badly, and I'm going to make them. Hey, and sometimes you just get paid off when the AI, did it have Ukraine support hold? Um, Russia, Ukraine support hold Warsaw. Look at that. That's awesome. Cool. So Russia's down to, I'm up to, Italy's still doing nothing. I missed him ending up in Spain, to be honest. I just, I missed that. I was assuming there was no way, but yeah, I know this works because you can cut Marseille. And then Mid-Atlantic Ocean didn't support Hold Spain, it moved into Western Med. No, it didn't. It moved back into the English Channel and it bounced France out. Oh, so it's not an EF. Cool. That's fantastic. That's that's the best news I've had all day. Um, and then it ends up in Western Med, still bouncing out of English Channel. Well, I don't know, maybe this is just the robot EF, which sometimes has these issues. Italy gets its build. Still losing Tunis, though. This... Is so frustrating, right? Italy has two units committed here to, to get one center, 
and they're not doing anything with it. They're support holding it and not moving. I've supported into con twice now. It's not tapped anything. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Um, let's see. I could build Fleet Triest to get into Ionian, kick them out of Eastern Med, and then actually secure all of Turkey. I could do it to go to Ionian to mess around. I could build two armies, because building armies as Austria is rarely a problem. I'm not sure what to do. Def like, definitely Fleet Vienna, right? I'm not postponing any builds. But, Triest. Fleet versus army. So what would I do with an army this year? Is, how much is Russia just spending? Is Russia pulling two? Huh. Probably Black Sea and something else. I feel like I have enough armies on the Russian front, so I wouldn't need to move Trieste to there. So I could go Army Vienna, Army Trieste, move into Bohemia and Tyrolia, go after the German. Problem is, Denmark isn't exactly tapping Kiel very much. So I'm not convinced I could ever take Munich from the German. Even though the German's on two fleets. I need to get into Silesia as well. I kind of want to get the fleet. I think the fleet is going to take longer to be valuable to me. And so I want to give it time to get into position. Whereas any army I build is going to be useful. Going to be contributing pretty soon. Which is the argument as to why you build armies, because you want power right now. But I th I'm looking to solo this game, and so I'm going to need to take Turkey at some point. And I don't just feel like this Italian player is going to make that very annoying. Come on, Italy. Accept that support. Okay. So, I'm in this position. I've got three on Ukraine, and I can go after it with strength three. Or I can try to outflank him in Livonia. And it's just going to be lots of guessing. I kind of don't like getting in Livonia when England is taking St. Pete. Kind of want to just go hard after Ukraine. Have a chance to disband. Romania from Budapest. Budapest moved to Romania. Romania moved to Ukraine. Support moved to Ukraine from Romania. Vienna. Still moves to Bohemia though. Trieste, Albania. Oh, Fork move to Ukraine from Romania. So here, if he has the double hold, double support hold of Ukraine, I'm in awkward shape, but if not, I should be fine. Yeah, I can retake Warsaw, but if he does so, I get in Ukraine. And he just did it? What a man. Ugh, it's never a move I would have made. <sighs> Italy, baby. And when the AI does this, I think it's just super likely I need to... The problem is... Now I really wanted to support Hold Warsaw. Because I just really, really, really don't want to be losing a unit. Italy is retaking Tunis. I don't want the fleet to retreat into Ionian. I don't want to get into Eastern Med. Ever. The thing is, even if I get into Eastern Med, it doesn't actually do anything yet. I'm an idiot. This fleet was terrible. Fleets are always bad as Austria. If I support Old Warsaw, so I don't get anywhere. Man, that's frustrating. Okay. Well, you know what? Sometimes you just take a year off and don't do anything while the rest of the board gets into good shape. And that's just that's what happens sometimes. You know what? You gotta you gotta live with it when you make mistakes. Right, I just have a, every one of my units isn't doing anything. Albania to Ionia is the only productive move. Because there's no way that Italy ever actually attacks Constantinople. It's just, it's an impossible move for Italy to ever make. Oh, I probably should have had Bulgaria support the attack as well, but... Okay. 
So I could have been greedy, but you know, I should have had Galicia support hold Warsaw and then Warsaw support Romania and Ukraine. Like, wouldn't have done anything here, but. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, Italy didn't go for the safe approach for the recapture of Tunis, and now Italy has to disband. Hopefully it disbands Eastern Med. That would be, that would be amazing. Yes, good, 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 good. Okay, cool. So now we can actually make progress again. Russia still popped Ukraine basically forced. Germany is in good shape against France again. England is just growing. As big as me. That's not a problem. I'm gonna get into Livonia. Smyrna. Oh my god, he did the move. It's a miracle. England retreated the North Sea instead of Ionian. Huh. Okay. Doesn't make much sense to me, but... I'll take it. Okay, Norway support holds St. Pete. I guess the AI is going to be locked into doing that for the rest of the game. Moscow. I want to take Sev to make Armenia an easier capture. So Smyrna from Eastern Med. I would much rather... Actually, would I? Would I rather Italy have Khan? Yeah, because I can disband Khan. Absolutely. Then Galicia to Ukraine. Armenia support to Sev. Nope, not Serbia. Sevastopol from Ukraine. Ukraine to Sev, Prussia, Livonia, Eastern Med, Smyrna. Oh. Okay, the page got there. So we're going to take Smyrna. Khan's not falling. Sev is falling. Unless Black Sea supports it. Wouldn't that be a trip? Super punished if it does. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. England support holds Moscow, because England's a bitch. Good thing I went for Sev. Cool, 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 cool. Vienna, oops. Budapest, I assume. Do I want army trios or anything like that? Don't think so. Maybe I want army trios, actually, yeah. I think I do, because I want to get into Tyrolia. I think it's time for me to move on to Germany. This year, because I am going to finish up Fleet Smyrna, by the way, is always sad, but there was no way for me to take the one with an army this game. <sighs> so, let's see. Wars oh my god, Germany built another fleet. Wow. Okay, so Warsaw. Support to Moscow from Ukraine. Um, let's see, Aegean. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Aegean supports Bulgaria to Khan. Bulgaria to Khan. I want Aegean Sea to make it into the Ionian quickly, and so I want it to be there. Ukraine moved to Moscow. Armenia moved to Sev. I don't want Moscow retreating into Sev as I move it into Ionian. I don't want England to stop me from making the capture. Just because it's better. Smyrna. You're also support moving to Khan from Bulgaria. Um, is that really necessary? This does this makes it strictly guaranteed. The alternative is I get a gene into Ionia a turn sooner. I don't think that really matters. Yeah, I don't think a gene into Ionian makes a difference here. Therefore, I will leave it here. What would it do on Ionian, right? Support hold Tunis. 
but Italy is going to be doing that anyways. Italy can't lose Gulf. Yeah, Italy's just fine. Cool. And so then, what do we do with my two units? I move them into Bohemia and Tyrolia, of course. Tyrolia is the most important territory. Germany's got only two armies, so Munich's potentially up for grabs. We're finishing up Turkey. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 potential centers. Berlin is going to be a relatively tough cookie, but... Oh my god, I think I supported something the wrong way. Yeah, a GNC supported Khan into Bull, not Bull into Khan. <laughs> what a fucking joke, man. God, that's... That is really, really frustrating. God! Um, I just needed to double check it. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, a GNC is going to be slow again. Cool, okay. So, Warsaw, you go into Silesia now. Moscow, you're going to be holding Sevastopol. I want you over to Ukraine now. Livonia, I want you in Prussia. Bohemia, I want you... Do I want to just go after Munich this turn? I think I do. Bohemia moved to Munich. Support moved to Munich from Bohemia. There's a pretty good chance England taps Kiel and I just take it. Um, and even if not, there's a chance Kiel does something other than support holding Munich. Like attack Denmark for some reason. I don't know. We, uh, we denied ourselves a third build. Which is always frustrating. And more importantly, we're wasting Smyrna's time. Because now Smyrna needs to stay here and ensure... Um, there's no retreat for that Turkish unit. We did end up in Munich. Cool. So, Fleet and Trieste. We're at 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 appear to be the most likely ways to win. So, we're just gonna go after Italy now. I'm gonna use the fact that I built fleets early. Oh, Germany disbanded Berlin. How nice of him. So, we can take Berlin, I guess. Uh, we can take Berlin with any two units. So, Silesia supports move to Berlin from Prussia. Aegean to Ionian. Uh, I don't know. Khan move to Ankara. Moscow, whatever. Tap St. Pete. Ukraine. Warsaw. Armenia support to Ankara from Khan. Prussia move to Berlin. Smyrna holds. Because I'm bad. Wouldn't I left have Smyrna and Aegean or Eastern Med end of this turn? Munich. Move to, say, Burgundy. Tyrolia to Munich. Trieste. Adriatic. Vienna. Tyrolia, Trieste. This looks like a pretty solid series of moves. If I wind up in Burgundy, it's really nice. The French stalemate's just gone forever. I could move Vienna into Bohemia. It just If I end up in Burgundy, I want to be able to use Adriatic to convoy into Apulia while still taking Venice. But if I end up in Burgundy, is my position good enough to just say I win the game anyways? With the unit in Bohemia instead? If I end up in Burgundy and Munich, I'm already in such good shape in the north, though. Nah, I want to do this. Seems fine. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Uh, this is feeling like a solo here because the rest of the map did what the bots frequently do which is to say hey I don't care that Austria is soloing I want to 
stab my ally. And, like, not work together to hold the stalemate. I actually just get Paris now. Do I win the game this turn? Let's see. I'm at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Not quite. If I wound up in Naples, I get 18, but... I'm not sure how much I want to bet on that. I could I end up in Kiel? Potentially, right? I think I should take Paris and try to take Kiel. With some luck. So, Silesia to Munich. Ionian to Naples. Ankara to Khan. Moscow to St. Peter something. Warsaw to Livonia to make Norway do the holding. To Ankara, Berlin, support move to Kiel from Munich, Smyrna to Aegean, Burgundy to Paris, Munich to Kiel, Adriatic. Just support move to Venice from Trieste. Uh, Tyrolia to Munich, I guess. Trieste to Venice. One, two, three, four, five. If these all work, I win the game. I think it's unlikely they do, but... Yeah, I didn't take Kiel, because Kiel couldn't happen. Oh, but I took Naples. Awesome. Okay, cool. That's, um, that's a nice a nice win, despite making some pretty big early game mistakes. Um, uh, This is the first game in a series. I'm going to make a few more of these, I expect. Because I, I like playing games against bot. I like games that are quick. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys stick around to watch some more.